The year of the retirement continues. This week it was Tim Duncan, maybe the best power forward in the history of the NBA, announced he's retired. Not, and it was perfect Tim Duncan form. The team issues a release. There's not going to be any sort of a tour. There's not going to be any sort of an announcement, a big giant press. Well, maybe he'll show up for a press conference at some point. But it was in perfect Dave, or Tim Duncan form. The team puts out a press release that says he is retired. Not he's retiring, he's done. The way he's done it. Do you know what Tim Duncan sounds like? Do you know his voice? Probably not. 19 years with one team, five championships, and he did it the right way. He was classy, he was quiet. Now, I've heard all week that he was born into this perfect situation, and that might be right. It was the right city, the right coach, the right organization, and the right guy for all these years. But please do not tell me that the reason that Tim Duncan was so great is simply because he fell into the right system or the right place. He would have been great with the Lakers or the Pistons or the Bucks or the Magic or the Nuggets or the Knicks. Tim Duncan was great because Tim Duncan was great. He was a wonderful person. He did things the right way. He was humble. He was encouraging. He was accepting. And he continued to grow. And he helped that town grow as a sports town. He was great civically and he was great for the league. But don't tell me he was great simply because he was put into that situation. I'm going to tell you, Tim Duncan was great for the Spurs. The Spurs were great for Tim Duncan, but they were both great for the NBA. Tim Duncan, we're going to miss you. You're one of the best, one of the classiest, and I hope a lot of other athletes down the line take notice of how you did things.